Hey everybody, this is Dutch at the Mystic Mountain Homestead Bugs and Exotic Animals series. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright everyone, I'm going to give you a foolproof way to get rid of ants. If you have ants, if you see, if you notice you have, you know, usually you might, you'll see one or two ants walking around. Those are called scout ants. If you get ants in your terrarium, your tarantula terrarium. And I noticed there was some walking around, so you notice it's a mess in here. I moved stuff all around, tuck out my tarantulas, and moved them up here. So you gotta be very careful, they're very poisonous, but they're very, they seem to be very docile, to be honest, from what I've experienced with these two. Um, she did freak out a little bit when I put her in the cup, but the male is very gentle. I stuck, I put him, the cup over the top of him, and he just turned around and walked to the back end of it. She like flipped over on her back and started doing threat poses. And then she flipped over and was like, hey, I'm staying on the side of the glass. You're not taking me in this cup. So I had to get my little piece of paper and slide it underneath her legs. And then when I did that, she turned around and ran to the back and then turned back around immediately. So I put the paper over the top of the cup, slid it on over it and brought her up to the top tank. I took out as many as I do by roaches Cause I, like I, as you guys can see, this is a bioactive community. That springtails right there. Look, there's some crawling around in there. And was, right there's the springtails in here in the water, and that's the uh, isopods. Those are called cow, iso um, cow isopods. You know, they look like the milk cows. They've got the black spots on them, and they're white. And then I also have a frog in here somewhere. Just a little tree frog I put in here the other day. But uh. It's really small the spider will eat it if she wants to it's not a danger to the spider's not endangered by the little tree frog so don't get concerned but uh it's been chilling in here for about a week the little tree frog has that's the i have a i put two other um, leopard frogs in there with my obts and one obt ate it immediately and the other one is like holding it as a pet it, like it walks over and pets it and stuff with his paws i'm like what the heck's going on here here, let me get it out and show you real quick, in fact. Because I think this is really cool. A tarantula with a pet frog. Now, I've heard of the Goliath, or no, it's the Exenus species. Keeping smaller frogs as pets. This tank room is kind of dirty, so let's see if we can see through it in there. There's the frog right there, see? And it's just chilling. And this is just a temporary tank until I get his other bigger tank built. I like to big, build big tanks as you see for them all. And this tank is so large because it is going to be a communal. I'm doing like a, I'm planning on breeding these two. That's why they're together. Her name I've decided is like Lady Loth. We're going to be, go somewhere along that line. I would like to do like a mythology type name for her. So I've been looking up different names like that. Might do Mirid, I think it is, um, for the Greek mythology goddess. Or there's a couple other names I might go with. But I'm thinking I like Loth a lot. But uh, I think that's from Dungeon and Dragons actually. But anyways. So what you do is you clean all your tank out the best you can. You move everything around. I moved it all around to one side earlier. and then Get all the bugs you can out the most, best you can. Because this is going to kill the bugs. What's in there. Some of them anyways. The ones that are down on the ground. Some of them might run. But this is a tried and true method. To kill ants. And yes it's going to get your terrarium a little wet. But it is a terrarium after all. So what you want to do is you're going to want to boil some water until it's boiling, boil, like boiling, boil. And then you take a pitcher of that boiling water and you start at one edge of the tank and you work your way around. And as you see, it's steaming. That's boiling water in there. That will kill the springtails, isopods. So you're going to have to go back in there and scrape out the isopods with a spoon later on. 
so that way it don't attract other horrible little creatures to make a mess this for you. But that is a guaranteed way to kill the ants on contact with that boiling water. That's all you do. I'm gonna do one more little picture because I've already done a couple. I just wanted to bring this to you guys. This method that really works. Instead of having to clean out all your substrain, you just go in here and pour some boiling hot water. And those ants are done for. There's no way they survived that. Because it's killing everything on the surface, as you see. I'll show you over here. There was isopods just climbing around everywhere. And look, they're dead everywhere now. Little dead isopods. There we go. Yeah, see they're dead. And the ones on the wood are good. That's why I stacked the wood up over like that, trying to give them a place to run to, and I tried to brush as many as I could that direction. And I got most of the Dubai roaches out, because like I said, this is a bioactive community. So there was an actual live colony of Dubai roaches. I probably pulled out every bit of 400, 500 Dubai roaches out of here. And I have heard people say, oh, they're going to eat your tarantula when they're molting. But I've never, ever came across that. As long as you keep plenty of food in there for the roaches to eat, they're good. They're not going to even mess with that tarantula. They try to stay as far away from that tarantula as they can because they see it as a threat. Yeah, that's one of those little um, rhino, I think it's called a rhino beetle. I don't know what it is. Did you see it right here? It just ran by right over here a second ago on a piece of wood. I got some Dubai roaches and babies off the offline, off of Josh's frogs, I believe, and um, it didn't look like there was nothing in there except for the little Dubai roaches, a whole bunch of them. I got a 500 of them, and I dumped them in there, and probably about mm, a month later, I started noticing those little beetles, and I googled it, and it says their cleanup crew, a lot of places used for the uh, Dubai roaches. So, I don't know if they're a danger to the, if they'll hurt the tarantulas or not. Someone comment about that, please. But um, I've noticed that I've started seeing those little beetles in there, too. All right. Like, subscribe, and share for more. And definitely um, ring the bell if you want to get notified when we're going to be doing the breeding video. Because that will be coming very soon. All right, everyone. Till next time.